Welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question on algebra. And this time we have a question from CAT 2008, way, way ago, 13 years ago. And I'm sure a lot of students might have not seen this question. As usual, pause the video over here, try the question on your own, and then go ahead. Now, the question says, what is the, if the roots of the equation x cube minus ax square plus bx plus c are three consecutive integers? Remember the word integers. Whenever they tell you integers, you should always think. That means I can take positive as well as negative. I can take zero also. Then what is the smallest possible value of b? We want to know the smallest possible value of b. Before I do this question, let me just do a concept with you all. You know, if I have a cubic equation in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to zero, whose roots are three, three roots are alpha, beta and gamma. Now, it's a cubic equation, so it has to have three roots. Let's assume the roots are alpha, beta, gamma. Then what are the properties we have? We should know that the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma, is minus b upon a. Taking two roots at a time and the sum of that, that is alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus beta, gamma, will be c upon a. And taking all three at one time, that is alpha, beta, gamma, will be minus d upon a. So before you go ahead with this question, you have to know this property well, because we will be using this part of the property to solve our question. Now, if now if I look at our equation, our equation is x cube minus ax square plus bx minus c. So according to what we wrote behind, a will be 1, b will be minus a, c will be b, and d will be minus c. We are concerned only with this part. What was the value of c? It comes when you take two roots at a time. So that is alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. The property was c upon a. In this case, it will become b upon 1. Now, I want to minimize the, the smallest possible value of b. That means I want to minimize the value of b. Now, think a little bit and look at the options also. This option is the useless. No way you can reach that answer. The other options are minus 1, 0 and 1 which means I know my roots have to be all very small anyway. I knew they had to be integers. What if I take them as three small possible values, 0, 1, and 2? Suppose if I take them as 0, 1, and 2, all three positive, what will I get? 0 into 1 will be 0. 0 into 2 will be 0. But 1 into 2 will be 2. And hence the answer is 2. Luckily, 2 was not there in the options. Otherwise, a lot of students would have marked that also. Which means... It got to me thinking that should I take all negative, but I realized if I take all three negative also, or I take 0, minus 1, minus 2, I'll land up with the same thing. So the way it can be done, the roots had to be minus 1, 0, and 1. Because minus 1 into 0 is minus 1, oh, sorry, minus 1 into 0 is 0. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1, and 0 into 1 is 0, and the answer will be minus 1. And that will be your final answer, which is the first option. So this was a pretty straightforward question. If you knew the property that alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is C upon A, in this case, B upon 1, and just then think a little bit with values, it becomes very easy. Well, we'll see you next time with one more question and maybe with a new module also.